Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a fantastic start. Let's continue on with part two of my little three-part series here on my channel this week where I am sharing my summer skincare routine. Uh, we are officially in summer at this point and my skincare routine does change throughout the seasons. I really base what I use on what I feel like my skin needs the most. Um, one of the things that I'm really proud of is learning how to really read my skin. And if this isn't something that you're doing on a regular basis, I would definitely encourage you to do so. Um, I think it's good every once in a while to reevaluate what you're using and seeing how that matches up with how your skin is doing. If you're not noticing any progress or if you feel like your skin is regressing, you might be using the wrong products or you might just have reached a little bit of a plateau and you need to switch it up. Um, I am definitely someone who switches up my products somewhat frequently. I do have specific... Uh, uh, skincare items that I use every single day regardless but there are also a lot of things that I switch up so the morning skincare routine that I shared with you guys yesterday if you missed that video I will link it in the cards I will link it down below wherever you'll be able to find it somewhere um, but that particular video was just kind of an example of some things that I would use on any given morning there are a few other like morning skincare products in my bathroom and I literally just kind of use whatever I feel like my skin needs right like you gotta learn how to read your skin sometimes it needs more moisture sometimes it needs some BHA sometimes it needs a little surface exfoliation sometimes it just needs to be moisturized and left alone pay attention to your skin. I think that that's really important. Um, also, I will say it in this video again, I am not a skincare expert. I am just an enthusiast. I've been doing this for a long time now in terms of purchasing and testing products on my skin and finding things that work for my oily skin type. Um, I'm 44, so I'm also kind of in that like aging more slowly boat. I don't want to necessarily say anti-aging because I know that's like a bad term nowadays, but I do just, I want to slow things down because if my skin can look its best and that makes me happy, why not do that? Like it's a simple thing that I can do, right? Like don't let anyone tell you that you're like silly or frivolous for wanting to like take care of your skin. I think that is just a very basic thing that brings certain people some joy, makes them feel happy, makes them feel like they're doing something good for themselves. You should do that. Don't listen to other people's opinions. Uh, it took me until my 40s to really uh, like incorporate that into my life. But let me tell you something, once you do and you just don't, care what other people think or say it's glorious you guys it is come to the dark side like it's fabulous over here <laughs> it really is you just you don't have to care you can do whatever floats your boat right anyway you guys let's get into it just like with yesterday's video i'm going to share all of these products in order of application i do use um most of my skincare devices in the evening tomorrow's video will address device uh the devices um i do just just to like put it in this video i do use a clarisonic still in it that's right i am still i'm still one of those girls that loves her clarisonic i bought a ton of brush heads when clarisonic went under if you still have one and you love that device check out the current body website they do still have brush heads available i will link that down below i will also link everything i'm sharing here so um let's get into it all right first things first uh, i am aware of makeup a lot of makeup i tend to pile quite a bit on my face every single day i also use spf so for me a double cleanse at night is a must one of my go-tos for a number of years now has been the Pharmacy uh, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This one here is their limited edition strawberry um, shortcake green clean. Um, it does have like a, straight, a slight strawberry smell to it. Um, the original green clean is great too, but if you pick up one of their other scents, like they've had a blueberry, they've had a peach, um, they've had a lemon one. I don't know pick a special scent or stick with the original this stuff's fabulous gets everything off uh waterproof eye makeup it all comes off this stuff is fabulous if you've never tried it 
give it give it a go i do have a discount code with pharmacy that'll save you 20 percent if you're interested in that it does work on their website information will be down below all right cleanser that i'm currently using is actually the same one that i showed in my morning routine video i've been moving this back from my bathroom sink into my shower um so uh every night i have to walk into the shower get this bad boy out so i can use it at the bathroom sink it's the alpine beauty Creamy Bubbling Cleanser with Fruit Enzymes and AHAs. This is very gentle. This isn't something that is going to like strip your skin at all. I've been using it every single day. There's been no irritation. It has more of like a creamy lather versus like that really bubbly, soapy lather that sometimes can leave your skin feeling a little bit stripped or tight. This does not do that. It's fabulous. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, um, I do like to mask. Um, I have a lot of masks in my bathroom drawer. Um, sometimes I will pull out one of those masks every Sunday for sure. However, it, I have a little ritual with this bad boy right here. Um, these are very expensive. I purchased these when they're on either 40 or 50% off. What are these? They are my beloved City Beauty Line Smoothing Hydro Masks. Um, these are a very thick like biocellulose material so they really stick to the skin this is a wonderful thing that I do every Sunday to sort of relax decompress it's my little spa day I will soak my feet in the tub plop on one of these bad boys and listen to uh, a spa station on Pandora because I am still that person that listens to Pandora I know it's free I've had the account since I don't know a long time there's great music on there anyway uh love this fabulous so one day a week i uh i will use this one of the other days out of the week i might use a clay mask if i'm feeling a little extra oily i only leave clay masks on my skin for a period of about five not even 10 minutes like less than 10 minutes is kind of the goal because i feel like a lot of the clay masks suck out too much oil and when that happens my skin wants to overproduce oil I'm not here for that anymore. Um, if you have oily skin, you need to hydrate your skin because part of the reason that it is so oily is that your poor little oil glands, ducts, whatever, um, they're thinking that it's dry as the Sahara up here on the surface. So they're, they're just sending some rescue oil, trying to lubricate your skin. So trick your skin into thinking that nothing's wrong up here by hydrating it and you will produce less oil. I know this very well okay here we have a toner i have a few toners this one i like a lot because i can just spray it once again i do take my skincare from here all the way down to here so i usually make a mess in the bathroom there's usually water everywhere it's very annoying for my husband this is nice because i can just spray it all over the place um and then i just pat it in what is this it's the dermalogica multi-active toner um this is just a nice refreshing hydrating mist if you will um there's some good ingredients in here and i feel like it kind of preps my skin for all of the other stuff that i'm going to pile on top um a toner i think is just kind of a good place to start i don't think it's a necessity you don't have to have a toner by the way you don't need any of these things this routine is very excessive and i'm fully aware but it works for me very happy with my skin if less works for you then i think that's even better because you're not spending the amount of money that I am. And that's good. Put it towards your retirement. Um, Derma E Pure Biome Balancing Eye Cream. This has probiotics, lutein, as well as Sika in it. I showed this in the morning uh, video, using it at night as well. I do have a couple of other eye creams in there that have some retinol in them. And maybe a couple nights a week, I will use the retinol ones. But honestly, they kind of dry my under eye area out a little bit. So um, I'm not as like gung-ho about using the retinol ones underneath the eye every single day. But a couple days a week is totally fine. And I do think it helps to um, make that under eye area nice and clear, helps with milia. I'm talking about like incorporating the retinol ones. Um, the uh, Sunday Riley one, I think that one's pretty good. I'll link that one down below. But this Derma E is a great hydrating one for every single day. The caffeine kind of helps to just brighten the under eye area. Um, the probiotics just help, you know, with overall skin health. And the Sika helps with soothing, things like that, soothing the skin. If you have angry under eyes, 
you might want to try that. Okay, then we get into lighter essences slash serums. So um, the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic uh, Serum. This one's great. I love it. Um, you don't have to use an expensive hyaluronic serum. I mean, you can use one from The Ordinary, and if that works for you, that's great. Um, I happen to like this one from Glow Recipe. I think it works quite well. Um, hyaluronic acid is wonderful because it acts as a humectant. So anything else that you're putting on your skin that has moisture in it or it draws in moisture from the air around you, um, yeah, it's just helpful. Plump things up. Um, I'm also using this at night. So I've been using this twice a day. And I have, again, been using it from here all the way down to here. Um, I almost just relegated this super anti-aging serum, which by the way, the full size, I looked it up yesterday because I had to link it. Ooh, it's like $310. It is outrageous. I mentioned in yesterday's video that this, this item here was a PR item. Um, oof, yeah, it's gonna be hard to repurchase this, but it has made a big difference in my skin. I hate to even admit that because I don't know why this product costs $310 for one ounce. It's one ounce. 1.01 fluid ounces. That's crazy. Um, I'd like to have a word with Dr. Barbara Strum because it's like, it's just, it's a lot, right? Like I understand using um, higher end ingredients for sure, but not, I don't know, not to this degree for one, to, to this degree for just one ounce of product, right? Like it's just, it's a lot. If I can ever get this on any kind of mega sale, I would absolutely repurchase it, but it's gonna have to be more than 20 or 25% off because it, it's an outrageous price point. Does it work though? Yeah, I mentioned yesterday, I do think it has had a really positive effect on the look of my pores. Um, it does have niacinamide in it. There's all sorts of great stuff in here, but anyway. Uh, another serum that I like to use. Now this one I use on my face, but I also use it quite a bit on my neck. Um, it is the City Beauty Uplift Firming Serum. I really like this one for the neck at night. Um, it's not one that I use every single night. Um, for example, I'll show you some other things that I sub in. Um, but I really like it because I do think that over time it has helped to make my neck uh, look a lot more toned. Um, I think that it does over time kind of help lessen the look of a lot of the lines that I'm getting on my neck. Um, City Beauty just in general I think is a great skincare line. It is a little bit of a higher price point but they very frequently have well at least frequently enough I feel like 40 to 50 percent off sales. I have a regular 15 percent discount code with them that's not a super great discount and I really wish that they would up that, but I do let you guys know fairly often whenever they do have sales. In fact, every time there's a City Beauty sale, I tell you guys because a lot of you are also hooked on the Complete Skin Restore, which is the supplement that I have loved from City Beauty for a couple of years now. It is a game changer for my hair and my nails. Um, but this is a wonderful product that just kind of helps to lessen the overall looks, look of lines, things like that. So there's that. Um, let's get into um, some kind of, I guess, like specialty products. The first one I'm going to mention is for my breakouts, I've been using this. Um, this is the Derma E Sulfur Spot Treatment. This has colloidal sulfur and salicylic acid. For me, treating uh, any spots that I get on my face or my neck, uh, it's best to treat them with salicylic acid. I never really responded well to benzoyl peroxide. In fact, neither has my daughter. She has started breaking out and I tried to introduce her to skincare with some benzoyl peroxide just to see if that worked for her. It just irritated her skin really badly. So she's also on salicylic acid like her mama. This one's great because you basically just dip a Q-tip in here and you see this solid stuff at the bottom. Um, that is basically, I think that's like a calamine lotion down there, right? It's calamine. Um, so you just dip that Q-tip down there and then you just spot treat. I will say it does smell like sulfur. So prepare yourself for comments from the family members. Um, both Craig and Stella hate the smell of this stuff, but it works to get rid of pimples very, very quickly. It's good stuff. Um, let's talk some exfoliants. Okay, I prefer to use my exfoliants at night. And um, 
Two that I really love that are in a liquid format. One is from Paula's Choice. This is a staple for me. I, I have to have this in my routine. It is the Paula's Choice um, Skin Perfecting 2% Liquid Exfoliant. This is salicylic acid, obviously 2%. Um, this is great uh, just as a regular maintenance thing for me. This helps me from getting sebaceous filaments. I do have enlarged pores, so they can, they can fill up fast. This keeps those pores clean as a whistle i love this stuff just a couple days a week on this face and neck plenty good stuff sometimes i will also use the pharmacy brighten up three percent transamic dark spot toner with azelaic azelaic acid <laughs> and pha i haven't used this one quite as often you can see i'm only down to about here um, this is a nice one to use on my face. I don't actually really love this one on my neck. I feel like it kind of irritates my neck just a little bit, but it works well on my chest. Um, if you do have some dark spots, um, azelaic acid and transamic acid are fantastic for that. It takes a little while. You need to use these products consistently, and that's the big thing about all of this is like be consistent. If you're not going to be consistent, don't waste money on skincare products. If they're just sitting in your bathroom, like over time they're gonna go bad and then you're gonna have to toss them. So just know what you are capable of. Um, for example, Stella is capable of washing her face and she is capable of applying one treatment and SPF in the morning. Not even moisturizer at night, it's not her thing. She needs a simple three-step routine. It's what works for her. Um, I need a lot more. Uh, I have the patience for it, so I do it. Anyway, this would be something that I would use like a couple nights out of the week um, when I'm not using other types of actives. It's gentle, um, at least my face and my chest. My neck is kind of a weird spot where the skin there sometimes can get really sensitive. So this isn't really great there, but I can use this one on my neck. All right, let's keep going. Um, Hydroquinone. This is my skin medicinals. You could, I, the label is gone. Um, I don't know what happened to it. This is a compounded formula from the skin medicinals uh, compounding pharmacy that my uh, dermatologist works with. So this is a prescription from my dermatologist. This has hydroquinone, tretinoin, um, uh, niacinamide. There's, I think, kojic acid in here, flucosinol. I think that's most of the stuff in this particular formula. Um, I don't remember the percentage of the hydroquinone. I I can't see it, but it's it's fairly high. So I deal with melasma on my forehead. So a couple nights out of the week, I will use this just on my forehead. And it's typically the nights where I am using my tretinoin. We're gonna get to tretinoin here in a minute. I use this on the rest. This just goes on my forehead for the melasma. I don't use this anywhere else. Um, go talk to a dermatologist if you have really stubborn melasma because for the longest time I was trying to like fix my forehead with just using this over-the-counter stuff, it wasn't working. And sometimes that's gonna be the case. Sometimes you're gonna need to go see a dermatologist. Um, it's important that if you are really struggling with something that you go maybe get professional help if you're able to at all. Um, it makes a big difference. This stuff clears up my melasma crazy fast. This other stuff, never touched it. Just didn't. All right. Couple nights out of the week, I will use one or the other of these. This is my Sunday Riley Good Jeans All in One Lactic Acid Treatment. Works great for exfoliating the surface layers of the skin. This is my U Beauty Resurfacing Compound. Um, this is also kind of crazy expensive. Um, I purchased this at Skin Store. I think I got it for like 25 or 30 percent off. So I, I, it definitely brought down the price significantly. Um, but still quite spendy. I don't think you necessarily need something like this, but I have sworn by good jeans for years. Now, Dermatology also has their lactic acid, which I think is fantastic. That one's gonna be a little bit less expensive with my 20% uh, discount code. So if you wanna try something very similar to Sunday Riley Good Jeans, but you don't quite want to spend this price point, I'll put the information for the Dermatology one down below. But I have this in my backup stash, so I'm using it. It's fantastic. It's good stuff. Th these are both great, but I feel like you could probably get something from Paula's Choice with some um, surface exfoliators that would easily replace this. So 
but I wanted to try it because I've heard good things. It is a good product. All right, a couple of other specialty products that I might apply other days of the week that I'm not using these other exfoliators. Um, the Dr. Loretta Intense Brightening Cream. This is a 20% vitamin C. Might use this one, maybe two days out of the week. Um, and then also I am using the, gosh, I'm almost done with this. This is the Indeed Laboratories. This was one of those uh, Instagram finds for me where I was like, oh, everyone's talking about this. It's got to be good, right? So the Indeed Laboratories, uh, I ordered this from their website. Um, Snoxin, Snoxin 2, a concentrated face serum developed with XEP-018. It's a peptide. Um, and that peptide helps to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, I like this a lot. Like, I really like the texture of it, but I haven't noticed any dramatics, any dramatic before and afters. But I also think that at this point, I'm pretty realistic about the fact that I think I've got my, sh my face skin, well, all of my skin here in pretty good shape. And that for the most part, unless I go out and do some drastic lasers or, you know, some other types of procedures, I don't think my skin's going to change a whole lot. And I'm quite happy with where it is. Like, I don't have any beef with my skin other than the fact that lately my, my neck wants to break out. But it's because I'm touching my neck and I need to stop doing that. Do you ever just get in phases where you're like, mm, you're just kind of like, I don't know, touching your skin and you're like, I know I shouldn't be doing this. I haven't washed my hands. Here I am still touching my face. Um, anyway, I like this, but would I repurchase it? I don't know. I, I use a lot of different products that have peptides in them. I'm not sure that this particular peptide is any better than any of the other ones that I've used. I don't know. If you're into researching ingredients, maybe. But anyway, there's that. All right. Other, like, specialty products. This is the uh, retinol that I have been using on my neck. This is a very, very gentle retinol. Um, this has, I'm going to butcher it, hexylresorcinol and retinoid, um, as well as niacinamide in the formulation. So I use this on my neck. Any other night where I'm not using another type of exfoliant on the neck, I'm trying to use some kind of over-the-counter retinol in that area. Um, I can use my tretinoin on my face. I can even use it on my chest. I cannot, once again, use it on my neck because my neck is very sensitive. So this helps to target lines, discoloration, loss of firmness. I've been using this for several weeks now. I think it's a great product. Um, yeah, if, if you want to try it, I, I think it's worth trying for sure. I don't know. I feel like with retinols, I think a lot of them kind of work roughly the same for me. I just look for them to be gentle so that my neck can tolerate them. That's that's my main goal there. Also on my neck for quite some time, and I swear I keep using this, and it's just the never-ending jar of the Dr. Paracone Cold Plasma Plus Sub D Neck. This is a neck treatment. Um, I just... This is my neck moisturizer. I really like it a lot. Um, I think it's fantastic. Do I think you need this one? I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure that it's doing anything above and beyond what another moisturizer would do, but I like the texture of it. It doesn't make me break out and it seems to help with the moisturizing of the neck meat. Just makes my neck feel nice. So there's that. Um, would I repurchase it? Yeah, if I got it on sale, for sure. Tretinoin. Okay, I am on a probably three night, three or four nights a week. If I go any more than four, my skin wants to get flaky. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes I go overboard on tretinoin. Um, on the same nights where I'm using this on my forehead, I will use this on the lower part of my face. This formula already has tretinoin in it. This is actually a 1% tretinoin. This is my uh, regular Retin-A uh, 0.05 tretinoin. So this is what I've used on my face for a number of years. It's great. Uh, if you have not transitioned over to using a prescription tretinoin, I would recommend you do that uh, if you're able to, because I really do think that it's a game changer for me in terms of um, helping to build more collagen. Um, my skin just looks really great when I use it the next day. As long as I don't overdo it, the tretinoin makes my face look, just looks fantastic. Pores look refined. 
um, overall texture and tone of my skin looks better. It's good stuff. So I don't know. If you're kind of struggling, go talk to your dermatologist. I think it's worth getting a prescription for this. And then lastly, a moisturizer that I have been using. I have a lot of moisturizers. I have moisturizers in there from Murad that I've been using for years. This one here is one of the newer ones to my collection. It's from Glow Recipe. This was a PR item as well, just an FYI. This is their Plum Plum Hyaluronic cream um but i also like i said there's a moisturizer from murad i'll try to remember what that one is and list it in the comments down below um there are moisturizers from um i think i have like a couple of like korean moisturizers in there as well so i don't think you need a fancy moisturizer you just need one that's going to provide adequate hydration based on your skin type if you are either very dry or very oily i think you could use this this provides a good amount of hydration has a nice lightweight texture to it um no crazy fragrance also what i love about this is this is refillable so when you're done you Okay, sorry, it pulls out. I was trying to like, um, you keep this glass piece and then you just buy another little pot to pop in here. Isn't that genius? I love that. I live in Oregon, so, you know, I, I love recycling. Uh, it, it's, it's a real thing. We love to recycle here. Anyway, um, that's it. That's a typical evening skincare routine. It's a lot. I d again, I don't expect you guys to partake in this in any kind of way. If it works for you, fantastic. If you find a new recommendation here, great. If you don't, that's fine too. Use what works for you. That is my big uh, pressure for you this week is to just do what works for you. Don't always, I don't know. There's a lot of people out there who, you know, say that they're experts in skincare and they could well be, but also they could not be. So just kind of everything that you part like consume in terms of like internet content, Instagram or whatever, um, take it all with a grain of salt, do your own research, and purchase the things that you think are going to be the best possible fit for you. Stay tuned tomorrow. We will talk about the uh, small handful of skincare devices that I am currently using and um, that seem to be working quite well for me. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your day. Be sure to check out the description box for links to everything. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo!